When typing out formulas and functions within Excel, they give you something called an autocomplete feature. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. When I type out equal sign SU, you'll notice how a series of different autocomplete functions now appear that start with SU. I'm going to go ahead and type out M and then now notice how I get this SUM. Now, if I double click on that, it finishes it for me and making my life a lot easier. Now, some of you may not either have that feature available or you may want to disable that. So how do we disable it or enable it? So if we go over here to my file tab and I click on more and go to options, you're going to see that there's this formulas tab and very easily I can uncheck formula autocomplete. When I do that, I click OK. This time I'm going to do average and I'll do equal sign. And notice as I type out AVER and then AGE and then I do my open parentheses, I can now highlight it and still complete it, but not have the autocomplete. Now, if you go back to it, go back to file, more, and then options, you're gonna see here that under my formulas tab, once again, if you hover over this little I, it's gonna tell you in the bottom, this functionality can be enabled or enabled by using the keyboard shortcut Alt down arrow when in formula editing mode. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on, click OK. And this time I'm gonna do equal sign COU, and you can see there I have that. And I'm gonna do my Alt down arrow, and then notice how that disappears. So if that's a little bit distracting, or maybe you're trying to quiz some people, you don't wanna reveal what the formula is, you can go ahead and turn off that autocomplete. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. Note that I can still do the formula even without the autocomplete, and there you have it. So you've got lots of tools to give you all the options you need, whether you want to do the autocomplete or not, or if you'd like to turn it off on the fly. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.